Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this dodeca fractal pattern in Affinity Designer. Dodeca comes from the Greek word for 12, and this figure is called that way because it has 12 sides and 12 peaks. So first we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And then we go to View Guides and we had Horizontal and Vertical Center Guides to the composition. So we are going to draw this figure as white on the black background. So in order to do so we take the Rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle all over the composition. And we set the Fill Color to black. And then we press on Escape and then we are going to start drawing the figure. So we take the Polygon tool, we set the Fill to None and the Stroke to White. and the width to 1.5 and the number of sides to 6 and then we go ahead and we draw a polygon and we give it 1600 by 1600 pixels in dimensions and then with the move tool we center it in the middle of the composition and then we go here to enable transform origin to rotate it and then we set the rotation angle to 45 degrees and then we press Ctrl J to duplicate the figure and we flip it horizontally. So now we have the first iteration of the figure. So we select both polygons and we press Ctrl J to group them together. And now we are going to create the other iterations of the figure. So we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the group. And then we scale it down, the duplicated group, while pressing Ctrl until it is slightly underneath the first group. And then we press Ctrl J again, several times, until we have as many iterations as we want. And then we can add some color to the figure. So we select all the groups of polygons. And we select the stroke color. And we can set it, for instance, to light blue. Or also to light wear yellow, also that looks good on this figure. Alright, so that was it. So you learned how to create a dodeca fractal in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!